I think that's it anyway. Let's move on to the OTTP stuff. So, authentication. How do you want to authenticate your users? Well, I want a local bit, so let's call this user1. And we shall have a password for this particular user. And we'll have a password of let me in. Then, believe it or not, we need to set the authentication. We need to set the mode to local. Even though we have lo just defined local user accounts, we have to tell it to search locally. Interesting thing is, you do have the option there of radius if you wanted to. Let's set the client IP pool here. So I'm going to set it to 10, 0, 0, 0, 100. That's where it's going to start. And it's going to stop. there. Now for the iPads uh, and iPhone devices you also need to push it this option otherwise it doesn't work. Okay now we do the IPsec specific parts of um, the L2TP remote access and here we're specifying the authentication give it a mode pre-shared secret and then we actually need to put in the pre-shared secret so authentication um, authentication and do, 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 pre-shared secret we need to specify the pre-shared secret which we're going to have as let me in Viata. And there are some more options. And those options are we need to specify an outside address. Now, the outside address here is going to be if I do a run show interfaces, is going to be 123.123.123.10.100 because that is the outside address. The next thing we need is we need an outside next hop. So what would that be for us? Well, if we go here, if we do a run show IP route, can you see one there that has got the uh, 000 and then via 213.123.10.200? That's our next hop. So that should be our outside next hop address, which is 213.123.10.200. Uh, 200. Okay, let's commit that and see if that works. Okay, that's worked successfully. Um, now, I guess, let's see whether we can actually connect. Now, first thing we're going to do is ping 213.123.10.100, I believe we gave it. Okay, that's not responding and that is no surprise because if we do show interfaces ETH0 you'll see that we currently have a firewall on it. So if we what we'll do is temporarily till we get our firewall rules in order, let's delete the firewall that's on there at the moment. And if we know what we're doing in a second we should start to see some responding. Okay, so now let's see whether we can actually um, dial in. So now we're going to set up the uh, Windows bit. So we want to add a new connection. It's a VPN. Company name. Uh, what company shall we call this? Let's call it uh, Global Corp. 213.123.10.100 is the address that we're pointing to. Uh, we'll close this and what we need to do is change some options. Can you see at the moment it's specified as PPTP 
what we need to do is here let's change it to IPsec sorry L2TP IPsec VPN we don't really want file sharing at the moment maybe that's an option we can add in later security we need to go advanced and we need to get rid of these ones we need to use optional encryption even though it's not actually optional uh, and we need chap and we need pap under IPsec settings remember we configured a pre-shared key and that pre-shared key was let me in Viata. Now the username that we had was user1 and the password was let me in. We want to save these. Now a good thing to do is if we do a tail uh, f bar log messages what we can see is we can watch um, this connection come through and see if we get connected. So it says connecting, verifies using the password and we're connected. And if you have a look here you can see that it came through and I got IP address 10.0.0.0.100. So let's quit out of that. Now can I now ping that person? Nope, because he's got a firewall currently. What we can do if we untick firewall on that particular interface. Let's see if it does require restarting and it doesn't. So that's us from here pinging out here and then it magically turning up down here. Okay. Where do we get with this one? And Okay. Let's find out to see what um, IP address this currently machine has got. Okay. Looks like we've already been in and configured this one. Now, can I ping it? I can. Good. And from here. Cool. So, as you can see at the moment we have a user who's coming in via here coming in getting remote access over here over L2TP over IPsec and then getting access to this particular device here okay let's disconnect that next part let's go ahead now we've done that let's go ahead and set up the uh, PPTP bit of this because that's the road mode access part. Okay, so configure and VPN. VPN is PP set VPN PPTP remote access authentication local username. We'll call this user two this time. And the password of let me in wall let me in two. We need to do set VPN PPTP remote access. And this time we'll set the client IP pool and we'll set this one from ten zero zero fifteen to ten zero zero helps if I put a start in there. I mean, we're going to stop at 10.0.0.120. We now need to set a outside address, which is going to be 213.123.10, uh, and I believe we're 100. Now that should be it for PPTP. Let's see if I've forgotten anything. Authentication mode must be specified. So remote access, authentication, mode, local. Remember you can for each of these you can put local or you can put radius. Let's commit that. And there you go, there's PPTP. 
Okay, and it was user 2 and let me in to. So, again, let's go through the same wizard. So, VPN. Let's just start pinging. So we see when it comes up. Okay, remote access. Uh, same IP address. Uh, 100, wasn't it? Do not dial initial connection. What have I missed? Oh, company name. That's Global Corp. Uh, but let's do it as PPTP so we know the difference. That is the IP address. It was user 2 and it was let me in 2. Save. And there we go, we're now connected. Okay, let's see if we can. There we go, and there is our pinging. Now, uh, that's the end of this video. In the next video, which I recommend you watch, is at the moment we currently have no firewall on uh, Router 1, and we're going to um, work out which firewall rules we need so that we can place a really good firewall in place that will still enable us to have um, connectivity via uh, PPTP and IPsec and still have a secure firewall. Thank you very much for watching.